Hi, in this video I'll show you how to create a bidirectional in-cell chart. You can also consider this a bidirectional uh, histogram uh, or a comparative histogram. And basically in this scenario we're just comparing uh, two categories, male and females, in terms of the population and they're in age categories. So uh, you may think this looks like a chart, but this is actually a in-cell chart. So if we click inside you can see that there are references to the cells. This is not a chart. This is not a. Uh, this is not using the charting engine within Excel. So you can actually resize the chart here. So if I uh, resize the chart in terms of the columns uh, width, I can actually resize it here, and it's within the chart itself. You don't have to c call up a different chart. So, so it's fairly easy to make. Uh, let me go ahead and just copy uh, this particular range of data, and I'll show you how to make it. Control C to copy and then let me open up a new worksheet and then I'll put control V to paste let me go ahead and uh, double click select the columns and double click the line here so I can auto fit this now basically all we need to do is just reference these cells so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use F here and I'm gonna reference the male uh, set of range of data so this is just gonna be this particular first cell but I need to reference it in the negative format because what it's going to do is with negative uh, it's going to push it out to the left and with positive it's going to push those bars out to the right. So I'm going to put a negative here. I'm going to put uh, a minus sign, press enter, and you notice now it just put a negative in front of that uh, 10,273. Let me go ahead and, and use the fill handle, drag it to bring it down so the co formulas will copy down. And I'm going to use in column G equals uh, this particular range, press enter, and I'm going to go ahead and just drag that fill handle down. Now this is the beginnings of my bar chart, or my uh, in-cell bidirectional chart. So this is what we're going to do now. I'm going to select uh, this range of data. Or I'm going to show you this first one first, uh, the one for male. Let me go ahead and just equal uh, the header here, and then equal the female header here. And for here, I'm going to select from F4 to F21, and I'm going to go under conditional formatting, and I'm going to use the data bars. So the data bars, I'm going to select any color right now. Uh, basically, I'll change it later. Uh, it doesn't. Let's see. Actually, I can select blue. Let's see. Let's see what blue gives me. Uh, it, it gave me red. And, and the reason why it gave me red is even with the the data bars here, with the gradient fill. Since these are negative numbers, it would default to the color red. I think I believe we can change that later on. So I'll go ahead and do the female uh, category here or the female column here to show you that it does actually change it to that color. So let's go to data bars and we'll select the same blue and you can see it's the same blue. So here I can change it. I can actually change it when I get into the settings here. So let me go ahead and select uh, this first column here, go under conditional formatting, go to um, manage rules. And for this data bar, I'm going to go ahead and edit the rule. And you notice the gradient bar, it selected the color correctly here. It has a color correctly, but here, this is where we need to change it. Negative values and axis. So I'm going to select that. And the fill color, it needs to be blue. And this border color, it could be blue or nothing, but I'll, I'll select the same blue. Click OK. Click OK. And click, and click Apply. I'll just click Apply. And you can see now it's blue. And I can change the female one here too. Uh, let me go ahead and click OK to get out of this. Let me select my cell here and go under conditional formatting, under manage rules, and in the data bar, click edit rule. And the color here, I'll select uh, this uh, pink color, which I selected earlier. Pink color. If, if I didn't like pink, I can also go into the more colors option and select from this particular set or range of colors. Click OK or click, click cancel here, click OK, and click OK, and now we've got our pink colors. So I can go ahead and select these columns, uh, kind of increase the width, uh, and I have my particular uh, bi-direction and cell chart. Now you notice I still have these numbers here, and if I don't want to have those numbers there, I can actually get rid of them or hide them. So I can select that, I can select both of them, go under manage rules, uh, let's, let's do the first one. We'll, we'll edit the rule here, and then I want to show the bar only. I don't want to have the numbers. Right? So I'll click that, click OK, and now uh, apply. And that one is gone from the pinky see It's no longer there. Go to the data bar here, edit rule, and then show bar only. Click OK, and then click apply, or I just click OK to close this. 
and now it is gone. So basically I've created my in-cell uh, chart. If I want to give it a little bit more visual appeal, I can get rid of the grid lines here, go under view, uh, get rid of the grid lines surrounding everything. And now I have this chart kind of, this chart kind of floating in the, the grid of the worksheet. So that's how you can create a bi-directional in-cell chart or a comparative histogram within Excel without using the charting engine. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.